Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have talked about ecological pyramids, we will now talk about ecological succession. So let us see what does it mean. So it means succession means something. It, it is related to the word successor. Successor means something which comes after what is existing. So it is a gradual change in the composition or structure of species in a given area over time. So something is changing gradually over a period of time. So that is called succession. Now since it is something related to the ecosystem, related to the ecology, that is why it is called ecological succession. Now we will get to know it even better as we go ahead. Now when we say uh, the composition of the species changes, the structure of the species changes, what does does that mean? That means that with time sometimes the number of organisms change, sometimes the type of the organism also changes, sometimes the decomposers change. So there are so many changes that might have taken place with the species of a particular area. So let us suppose this is an area which was somewhat like this once upon a time. So it was all green everywhere and it was all open and you do not see a lot of animals over here but over a period of time we saw that this change happened that means over a period of time so many plants grew up in that area it we see birds we see different animals so almost this area turned into a forest kind of a structure so so much of development happens nobody planted trees out there but it just happened over a long period of time so this kind of gradual change is known as ecological succession so when this type of change takes place it it sometimes gives rise to new ecosystems it gives rise to new species so the entire uh, so the entire structure and everything changes so here looking at this example something that might strike your mind is something of this sort was also told to you while you were learning about evolution so we told about formation or formation of new species from existing ones so that is what is known as evolution now in this case also you see that a lot of new species might come up over a period of time and now we are calling it as succession so what exactly is succession and how is it different from evolution well, succession and evolution are like parallel processes. That means both of them take place together, but independent of each other. So when I say evolution, it is the origin or formation of new organisms from existing organism. So that is about evolution. But when I say succession, it is development of an ecosystem with gradual changes. So basically, Evolution talks only about a formation of a particular species, but succession talks about the formation of an ecosystem. So an ecosystem is made up of several species. So here in th on the screen, you can see that this is an entire ecosystem which has been formed uh, due to the formation of plants, due to the formation of birds, due to the presence of insects, animals. So the entire structure is an ecosystem and this entire formation or this entire change is called ecological succession but within this ecosystem maybe one or two new species would have emerged so that is evolution so the world we see today is a result of both succession as well as evolution which has taken place gradually millions and millions years ago so these both are parallel processes and they are independent of each other so now we will talk about the different types of ecological succession. Now ecological succession are of two types, primary succession and secondary succession. Now you might be wondering what is the picture trying to show? The picture is trying to show that all these organisms are following somebody. This is following this, this is following this, this is following this. Now that is what we try to see explain in succession that something follows the other so that is succession so now let us see what is primary succession and what is secondary succession so we will start with primary succession so it is the process of succession which starts in areas where no living organisms existed. Now earlier there was no organism at all and then over a long period of time suddenly organisms started to exist. So that kind of succession is called primary succession because it starts from the scratch. It starts from the very beginning. So for example, if you look at this lake, 
So let us imagine that this lake never existed. There was no organism there. Now suddenly one day you see that there are a lot of organisms, a lot of plants, animals, insects, fishes, birds. So that is known as a primary succession. So nothing was there. So from zero to uh, an establishment where different organisms are there. So that is called primary succession. On the other hand, secondary succession is something, it is like a change over something which already existed. So it is the process of succession which starts in areas which lost all living organisms that existed there. So earlier some organisms existed but due to some uh, reason all those organisms were lost and again a new bunch of organisms start to exist there. Now all these will not happen just overnight so it will take a long period of time and that is why this process is a gradual process and this is known as secondary succession. It is called secondary because primary succession would have taken place long back but that got destroyed due to some reason and now it is for the second time it is happening. So this is called secondary succession. Now this secondary succession, now the secondary succession happens due to the loss of the uh, existing living organisms. Now this loss could have happened due to some natural disturbances like fire or flood or some natural calamity or this can also happen due to some human activities for example deforestation or fire again which is human induced. So any of these activities can actually uh, make that place lose all its organism and after that again over a long period of time when the same region uh, gets back the living organisms that process is known as secondary succession. So here if you see this is the present of this region when it has been devastated completely but past was like this earlier there were organisms here there was an ecosystem existing here there were plants birds insects animals existing here but currently it is like this due to some disaster maybe natural disaster or uh, human induced disaster but because of some because of some or the other reason it lost all the living organisms existing in this area but again over a long period of time with gradual change this area will again start to have living organisms when you will again have some trees so here you can see the greenery that is some uh, plants have started existing and then again gradually plants will also exist and the entire ecosystem will develop so thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.